this video is here to help you understand pie charts with percentages. A pie chart is a type of graph where the circle is divided into sectors, a little bit like the slices of a pie, where each sector represents a proportion or a part of the whole. Let's have a look at this pie chart, which shows us the year groups of children who attend Breakfast Club. The pie chart represents 60 children. This pie chart doesn't tell us how many children are from each year group, but it does give us the percentages. Let's have a quick recap on percentages. And if you need more help with understanding percentages, then there are videos on the Twinkle website that can help you. Remember, 100% is equivalent to one whole, 50% is equivalent to one half, 25% is equivalent to one quarter, 10% is equivalent to one tenth, and 1% is equivalent to one hundredth. We can use these facts to calculate any percentages. For example, to find 15%, we can find 10%, and then half that to find 5%. We can then add together 10% and 5%. We can use the information we have to work out how many children at Breakfast Club were from each year group. If the whole pie chart represents 60 children, we know that 100% equals 60. To work out how many of the children are in year three, we need to look at the blue sector. The blue sector of the pie chart represents 50% or half of 60. To find half, we divide by 2. 60 divided by 2 is 30, so 30 of the children are in year 3. Pause here and work out how many of the children are in years 4, 5 and 6. Let's check your answers now. The red sector represents 25%, or 1 quarter. 1 quarter of 60 equals 15. So 15 of the children are in year 4. The yellow sector represents 15%. 10% of 60 equals 6. So 5% of 60 equals 3. 15% equals 6, add 3, which is 9. 9 of the children were in year 5. Finally, the green sector represents 10%. 60 divided by 10 equals 6, so 10% represents 6 children. 6 of the children were in year 6. Now that we have all the totals, we can double check that they add up to 60 altogether. 30 plus 15 plus 9 plus 6 equals 60. If the total came to something else, we would know that we'd made a mistake with one of our calculations. Sometimes we might not know how many children are represented by the whole pie chart, but we do know how many are represented by one sector. Look at this pie chart which shows us children's favourite flavour of crumble. We don't know how many children were asked, but we do know that 60 children chose apple as their favourite flavour. We also know that 30% of the children chose apple. Therefore, 30% of the total number of children is 60. If we know that 30% equals 60, how can we work out 100%? First, we can work out that 10% is 60 divided by 3, which is 20. Then, we multiply this by 10 to get 100%, because 10 times 10 equals 100. 20 multiplied by 10 is 200. So 100% must represent 200 children. Using this information, can you work out how many children chose either blackberry or rhubarb? Pause here and have a go. 25% chose blackberry. 25% of 200 equals 50. 15% chose rhubarb. 15% of 200 equals 30. So add 50 and 30 together and you'll get 80. That means that 80 children chose either blackberry or rhubarb. Now it's time for a challenge. Percentages are not always marked on pie charts. 
Can you estimate which percentage of the pie chart is made up of each of the coloured sectors? Use what you know about percentages and compare the sizes of the sectors to help you. How did you get on? You should have spotted that the blue sector is half of the circle, so it represents 50%. And the red sector is quarter of the circle, so it represents 25%. The yellow and green sectors are the same size and are both about twice the size of the orange sector. So 10% is a good estimate for those. That leaves the orange sector as 5%. I hope this has helped you to understand pie charts with percentages. If you're looking for any more help with pie charts, percentages or any other maths topic, then take a look at the Twinkle website where we've got lots more videos just like this one.